Guys, I wanna tell you about my very first rank and rent deal. This is back in 2016. To set a little bit of background, I was knocking door to door. My, my full-time job is I was living in Huntsville, Alabama. From two o'clock in the afternoon until 9 p.m. at night, I was literally knocking door to door selling home security systems. It was blistering hot and I was desperate. I mean, desperate to get out of this, this job. It was great money, but it was not a way to live. And so um, at the time, this is, this is about May of 2016, just to give you a little bit of background, I got on a call and bought a program on how to do rank and rent, just kind of some basic stuff, how to build a website, all that. So uh, what I was doing is I was knocking during the day, I'd come home, eat, shower, and I would jump on my computer. And it sounds like a lot, but at the time I was so excited about the concept. I was so desperate to get out of the current job. I was so excited about making recurring money over and over and over again. It wasn't, it didn't feel like work. It was really exciting. But I remember watching these videos and it got to the point where it's like, okay, you need to pick a niche. And I didn't really think much about it. I was like, well, what's everyone else talking about? And one of the niches that everyone was talking about was towing, okay? And I'm gonna say this right now. I do not like towing. I have one towing site left that I'm making money on, I will never build another towing site. That's just me personally. However, I, I have somebody in my program that is crushing it in towing and that's his game and I'm gonna let him be the king of towing. I'm not interested in towing for a multitude of reasons, not, not the time or place. However, I decided to do towing. I didn't do that good of due diligence, um, meaning like I didn't look at the market that well, I didn't look at the competition, I didn't know what I was doing. The one thing that I did right though was I took action and I just went for it because a lot of you guys, that are gonna be watching this or that are watching this right now, you you have, you, you, you take so long to make decisions, like, oh, am I gonna make the right decision? Is this the right niche? Is this the right city? The one thing that I did correctly and I don't regret is that I just took action. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do towing. What's the worst that could happen? I gotta shut the site down? Like, what's the worst that could happen? Long story short, I go into towing and I'm like, well, let me go into this place that I'm living, which is Huntsville, Alabama. So. I literally built a, a, a site called Towing Huntsville because Huntsville Towing was gone. Um, don't even look at my competition, really. But I built the site. I mean, this thing is absolutely a really, really bad looking site. I mean, just very fundamental, just basic, basic, basic site. But I followed the training in this program to a T. Like I was doing the backlinks and I was doing the content and I was setting up the GMB and the whole thing. And I was like, I'm gonna do this correctly. So what ends up happening is, uh, lo and behold, I got lucky and there wasn't that much competition. And after a couple of months, like we're talking like maybe six weeks, a month and a half, I start to get calls. And I think at the time, now that I'm looking back on it, I'm pretty sure most of those calls were coming from the, the GMB. I just didn't realize it. For those of you that are new, GMB is that map section at the top of Google, the Google My Business. And I went to a local um, post office box when that used to work a lot better, set up a set up an, an address, whatever, got a box, had the postcard sent, and I remember getting that card being so freaking pumped. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, these are the postcards, okay? These are the GMB postcards. Anyway, I started getting calls, and I remember getting my first uh, couple calls being like, there is no freaking way that just worked. Calls start coming in, and I remember I started sending the calls uh, to a specific guy. Um, his name is Brandon. I actually just pulled that out. So I start sending them to Brandon, young guy. He's cool. He's excited. Anyway, it came down to it. I did everything wrong with the sales process. Came down to it. He was like, yeah, I'm good. I can do my own SEO, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. Go to the next guy. And this specific individual is actually a company and they show a lot more promise, they show a lot more interest. So I sent them, I can't even remember how many leads, probably way too many leads. In fact, I know it was way too many because I wasn't looking at number of leads. I was talking about like, oh, here, here's a week's worth of leads or two weeks worth of leads, which is the wrong way to do it, by the way. Anyway, I send these guys like one or two weeks worth of leads. And since I'm in Huntsville, I'm like, let's meet up. Like, let's go to lunch, whatever. Like, okay, we'll come in and, and meet us at the office. And I remember just getting in my car, being so pumped, because I'm like, I'm used to knocking on doors, going door to door to door for people that have never even heard of my company, have never thought about home security. And I'm literally walking into a meeting where this person's interested, we're, we, we're I'm there to talk business. 
Anyway, I remember walking in, I'm like, hey, where's so-and-so, go into the back office. I mean, as you can probably imagine, this is a towing company. This is not a bougie office by any means. This is a freaking uh, chicken wire in uh, in front of the lady that's answering the phones and I'm darting behind desks and, and it's the junkyard. I mean, it, it was what you'd probably expect. I go back, I meet with the owner and I'm like, look, um, uh, let's do this deal. And I just in, intuitively knew that I wanted to do a flat fee deal and I didn't want to do commission. Obviously I didn't want to do a pay per lead. I didn't want to have to track it. So I said, Hey, um, it's going to be 600 bucks a month. And I had sent them enough leads that they were like, okay, sounds good. And I got the deal. And just like that, I walked out. They're like, Hey, let me go and print you off a check. We'll have it signed. And I was, I remember just sitting there being so freaking excited guys i was coming from a world where like you get a sale and it was extremely difficult you're out in the sun you're getting your your butt kicked on the door people are yelling at you calling you the f word calling the cops they don't like door to door guys and i only got paid once and i remember getting the 600 hundred dollar check and just being over the moon and i remember i got in my car and i called my dad and i was like yeah, uh, remember that thing I told you about? And I'm sure he was like, yeah, you chase a lot of stuff. Which one, right? I was like, well, I just got a check for $600 and it's it's every month. And he's like, really? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, that's actually really, like, I think he, he doubted. He's like, yeah, go chase that thing. But like, it sounded such a foreign concept to him. He's an old school farmer. And uh, I remember getting that check and just being so ecstatic thinking, look, if I could just keep this client happy, 600 times 12, and I started doing the math, I'm like, holy crap, I only have to sell this once, one time, and I have to keep them happy, versus I was making about 500 to 600 bucks per sale on this other thing, this door-to-door -door thing, and I'd have to sell, every single time I'd have to sell a new customer. And every time I got paid, I remember thinking, oh, I gotta go sell, to get that same money, I gotta go do, do that same pain. Anyway, I just remember being really ecstatic, what ended up happening with that client, we, we kept working together for, I think it was probably about nine months and they weren't closing deals because they they're, had the absolute worst customer service. I mean, they, they act, uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go into that, but as some of you guys have probably noticed, um, some of these people do not know what customer service is. They had been so used to having the, the city contracts that they didn't have to have customer service. And I was like, yo, I'm listening to these calls. Like, check out what your lady's saying. Like, this is terrible. I would hang up on you too. She doesn't know how to close. She's rude. Anyway, long story short, we ended up, uh, after about nine months, we ended up parting ways. And for the next like year or two, I, I struggled to keep a client with that site. And this is one of the reasons I don't like towing. We'd, I'd get somebody a couple months and then like it would fizzle out. And then and I found a couple good people, but every single time they were just fat and happy on their, uh, you know, I'm getting enough business, getting enough business, getting enough business. There wasn't any vision. In 2019, I landed a client. <clears throat> Finally, I looked everywhere, land a client, go on a Facebook group, find this guy. He's actually not the owner. I call him, we do the same deal and I end up getting the client. Well, at the same time, I was in talks with a, a friend of mine and he's like, dude, do you have any websites that uh, that you're interested in selling? Because I need some tax write-offs and like, do, do you have any sites? And I was like, well, just so happens, I would love to get rid of this towing site. And I just wanted a client for it, but I'm tired of the site. And guys, this is what I wanted to share. This is, I'm gonna wrap up with this, is I took that site and I hope that that individual watches this. We both have kind of laughed about that deal because he's made a lot more money than what I got paid on it, but I still got paid a nice chunk of change. We agreed to a price tag of $9,000. So on December 31st of 2019, literally with a couple hours left on the clock, he calls me, he's like, here's my wire info, or give me your wire info. I'm gonna wire you the money and I wanna buy the site from you. And I'm like, okay. And he wired me $9,000. And I started looking at it and I'm like, okay, well, <clears throat> how much time did I actually put into the site? And I'd probably put in 10 hours of work, 10 hours of work. And I got paid for nine months on it. Then there was a gap. And then I got paid a couple more times in between for a few months at a time, six months here, three months here, whatever. And then I got paid 9,000 bucks. And I started looking at this going, even when you strike out in this business and you choose the wrong niche and the, not the greatest city and, and it's, in, it's just not the greatest deal, 
you still make money. And I remember getting that $9,000 check and being like, all right, this business is what's up. This business is what's up. So I will tell you guys from that time, I've only built one other towing site. It's currently still paying me, but I do not love the niche. I will do another video on why I don't love towing. That, my friends, was my first ever deal, my first ever niche that I chose, my first ever website that I built. I made whatever I made from the monthly fees and I made $9,000 as I sold the website. Guys, get into this freaking business. Make hay while the sun is shining and I'm telling you guys, the sun is shining brighter than ever in the Legion world right now.